is not going the same direction as the front wheel. Uh, it has to be in the wiring. And guess what? You know why? Look at the way the motors are oriented. This one is facing this direction, and this one is facing this direction. So that tells us that the motor wiring is not right, um, and that this back wheel uh, needs to have its pins swapped on the H-bridge. Okay, so let's turn that off. And this is why I suggested we leave these loose. So we're going to take these off. These are a little bit too loose, I think. They're pretty wobbly. So let's take the top of the car off. Now we have the car apart. And <coughs> we have this wheel turning in the wrong direction. And so that means we need to reverse the polarity of these wires. So we're going to loosen these screws and we're going to pull the wires for this motor out and we're going to reverse them. My guess is that we'll have the same problem on this side as well. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to pull these two wires out of the connector and reverse them in the connector. Okay, we got these reversed. Let's do a pull test. Make sure that we did a good job of securing them in there with a good mechanical connection, and it looks like we did. So then we need to do this with the other side as well. Okay, pull test. All is well. All right. So. Now let's put a couple of these screws back in so it's not flying all Okay, uh, check to make sure wires aren't in the way. Our power plug is back in and uh, I don't see any wires going to get stuck in the wheels. So now let's turn it on and we should now see both of these tires move in the counterclockwise direction first and then in the clockwise direction. So let's check this. Much better. Okay, so our first problem fixed. Now we are going to load left wheel rotation and check the left wheels. and upload. Okay, now it says done uploading in the light blue bar at the bottom. Unplug. And let's see how this works. Okay. So, looks like our right and left wheel rotation motors are wired correctly now. 